we are going to keep playing some Doki Doki Literature Club. We are on day three now, and we're writing a poem. So let's figure out some words that we want to write about. Uh, I want to be lazy, but with excitement. And I want some romance involved with my laziness. It's going to be amazing the whole time. It's going to be awesome the whole time. Um, I'm going to fall in love while I do it. There's going to be a ton of passion whenever I do it. Uh, but then I'll kind of feel defeated about it, and I'll be in misery because of that, but it's okay because someone's going to boop my nose, and then I, all the shame will go away, and then I will find a little kitty to give pets to, and, and I will desire to keep it as my own pet, and I will name it Candy, and, and, and it's going to bring me tons of happiness, but no misfortune, and we're going to sit together and watch anime all day, and we're going to watch a waterfall afterwards with the family. And then I'm going to pet her hair because she's cute and adorable. And I love my little kitty cat. There's my poem for the day. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ah. You must have a lot of determination. Is this Undertale? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Sorry. Okay. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you, you're you all willing to help out for the festival, too. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Eh. Were you complaining about it yesterday, Ian? Well, yeah. I'm not going to talk about our part of the festival. But it's like a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious foods. You sound a bit like S all of a sudden. M. Do they usually have friend fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. I don't think I like that. Besides, what do you mean by you all of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monarchy. And that's not how you say my name at all. Also, the joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Eh, fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or S's anyway. Excuse me? What is it, S, anyway? Uh, oh, there you are. S is sitting in the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, S! I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh, you're spacing out again. Uh, sorry. Don't mind me. You go talk to everyone else. Hmm? Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for amusing things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Big smile. Don't let me distract you from having a fun with everyone. Well, alright, if you say so. They glance at us before turning back to everyone else. But then the conversation has already something and everyone back to their usual activities. Maybe I should make M ask M if she's noticed anything about them recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I walk up to Chu walk up to him. Milo, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with S recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. M peers across the room at S, who is idly dragging a eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Milo. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask you if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm o I'm also friends with her, and I also care about her well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? Uh, she seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing, up, bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Milo. Me? How on earth would you come up with that conclusion? Well, 
I probably shouldn't say too much, but S talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh, uh, she's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light has turned on inside of her. What? No way. S is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it w it's always been. Eh, you're so funny, Milo. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Mmm, ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do you want to know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you shouldn't, you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. They smile meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get rid of her words out of my head. M stands up from her desk and walks across the room to S. I watch her kneel down next to S and gently talk, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit, sit by myself. I know S told me not to worry about her, but I have fun, and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Except she has a crush on her. She has a crush on her. We got a little crush going on here. That's what's going on. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh, weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the only one uh, behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I could do besides wait for him. Hey, you. Uh, I look up to see in next to me. Are you just going to sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... In glances down at her side, she's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something that just came up for a minute but we can we can get started now i won't make you wait any longer Jeez, now you're making me feel like a jerk if something's bothering you then you can just tell me to leave you alone and i will i mean assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything she she mumbles the last part Nah, i'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is i've just been thinking about s that's all the s thinking about her yeah she seems pretty down today but she didn't want to admit it to me, so I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Well, first of all, you should really work on your own phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of that way from the start. In fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so I was not. Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, read the manga. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, M calls out the club room. Why don't we sh share our poems now? Before I knew it, everything's back to normal. Everything goes... And the poems make eye contact with them, smiles, want to just talk about the S. Alright, S, what is on your mind today? Because we're a little bit worried about you. This is your best one so far. <laughs> it's really, really nice, Milo. Thanks. You've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh, uh, of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Milo. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even in. But in the end... Yeah? I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? Why'd the music stop? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait. Why do you do that music? Why do you do that? <laughs> of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard in impressing them. I still understand you the most, S. I know you have have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. And sometimes I feel like you're the only one uh, 
exciting things in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Oh no, no, no. Milo, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Taking your voice steady all of a sudden. If you, if you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. So much easier to what? I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. S, I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. S shakes her head. She sniffles to keep shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Milo. Why are you acting weird? It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? Yeah, I'm getting back bad signals from you. You're about to do something that you shouldn't do. That's what's going to happen. Go play with everyone else. I'm going to go home. I know. Is this suicide? Is this going to be suicide? I'm going to assume this is suicide. And if it is, for all the people that get trigger warned by suicide, leave now. I love you. Leave now. S. Tell me him was feeling okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say anything, they left cheerfully walks out of the classroom. I didn't even read your poem. I didn't even get to read your poem. Hi, Milo. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform in the festival? Well, I mean, this club, one thing, performing in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Ah. Anyway, take a look at today's poem. Sure. Okay. Do you like it? It's pretty good. It makes me think of S like the other one that you write. You two are like a dynamic duo. Oh, that's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even if this it uh, club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy. It's just... I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Inn are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no. It's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now. Alright, give me your poem. Give it to me. Ah, oh, short. Lady who knows everything. An old tale's tale of a lady who wonders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. This is not short. Lost to drift the sky, victims of currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away... The legend is all that remains, the last dim star gleaming into the something sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quilt, expressionless. But, but a hand catches me between the thumbs and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Pretty much saying everything that you believe in is a lie. <laughs> you know... I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too psychological or anything, but it was kind of my own mind, so that's what I wrote. I see. Never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost by the words. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I notice. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Uh, are you surprised? I mean... If everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's him writing- Oh, another writing tip of the day. That's gonna be scary. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not too good? Uh, 
it can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, Yuri, what you got for me? I see. I think you're improving at writing in general, Milo. But I can't help but feel a little more foolish. What for? Just, I feel like I kept trying to offer advice when it should be... When I should have been clear to me that you prefer a different writing style, I probably just surrounded arrogant. I'm so stupid. Yuri, that's a little... No! You don't understand. I spent so much time worrying about these pa what's better and what's worse. Not just with you. With N and S. It's obvious to know why nobody has fun when talking to me. And because of that, I'll just keep my mouth shut in about your poem. You overthink things, my friend. I don't think it's ever as bad as you make it sound in your head. I think if people really didn't like talking to you, then it would be a lot more obvious. I know that you like to read deeply into things, but some things are just worth taking at face value. I just... I've gotten so used to it that it's hard for me to comprehend any other possibility. Gotten used to what? Reading deeply into things. Being disliked? Yuri. What What am I saying? I'm sorry. I never meant to bring this up. Yuri turns away from me. You should go. Please. Please don't look at me right now. What? Uh, are you sure? Alright. Uh, she wants to be alone, so I'm not going to read your poem. But fully... Okay. I'll wait until she's feeling a little bit better. Alright. Last but not least, we got two sad people today. Alright. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no, gross! It's not like that I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure that you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun just to hang out here, even if I had to put put up with you. And, uh, uh, they hit my stomach. Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. How in the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around her. Anyway, Anne holds out her poem. Can I read your poem now? All right. I'll be your beach. That does not sound right at all. <laughs> your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your own wonder over the years. But today, I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond the sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left, in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sun, sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windly sails. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. Oh boy. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be your be by your side, your own beach, your own escape. You'll learn to love yourself again. That was, I, I'm okay with that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message. That was really good. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. 
I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. I see. I don't really have much to contribute here since I didn't actually read Yuri's poem. Uh, you could really see her doing that too. Making us write about simple topic, but then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At, at the very least, it was good practice. Okay, I read everyone's poems, kind of. I didn't read two of them, but you know, I guess that's fine. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing the poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out, hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right, you... So, the, the, the catchphrase, addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh. So, so air is coming. Uh, Yuri. <laughs> My friend, stop saying complicated things. Your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that S isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Sigh. S always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone ballast is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. And please show some decency. Oh, come on. And she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early? Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with S. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Hmm. That curious expression coming from Yuri, all of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked with her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. And we'll be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself? Challenge accepted. And for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. S will be helping me design them. As for Yuri, Yuri, you can, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Hmm. And now, pounding two? Jeez. Even I could tell now. I guess I never gave S enough credit, but she could tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I, I love atmosphere. They change and stares at her desk. Focus start nodding. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Milo. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Aha, don't say that. In fact, both N and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It wouldn't, it wouldn't probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. Uh, I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Suggest you spend the weekend. Oh no, no, oh no, no. Which one I, I have to pick? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some work. Oh no. Oh no. If I recall, in you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Milo may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance, so therefore. He may be more suited to assisting with decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Milo, too. What are you saying? It would be extremely... Some work. And baking, isn't it? Just, what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Milo to decide. <laughs> Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in. You're literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Ah, uh, the end is up to you. Uh, of course. Very well. 
Na, Case. Hi, Kiss Potat. I want to help my friend that's not here. Help my friend that's not here. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, I would prefer for it to be S. I mean, we're already neighbors, and. But M said, M said that S was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. <laughs> okay. You. Oh, I might as well pick the leader of the group, right? Right? The music stopped. I was wrong. Hold on one second. Yeah? You're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Yeah, but I agree with him. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but I already have S as well. But Milo was the one who, uh, that doesn't matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. And you shouldn't let... Are you gonna make me choose again? What are you saying? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with motivations. Excuse me, otherwise... It's what... No, I don't want to choose again. That's false. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We wouldn't... We won't do as good as your job if you make us work alone. Maybe that's true. Think of the club. Uh, Succeeding probably just... Um... Ah! S -s -s President, okay, okay. I get it. Okay. Uh, ah! I will make cupcakes. You guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably be used to people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh. Just a minute ago, you were saying that, that that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. Ugh, she makes me feel bad. Okay. Uh, that's good. Even though Yuri's being more metaphorical, a little hard to not feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except for the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Milo? Me? I guess I could say I'm interested to see how it all turned out. That's good enough for me. Uh, what about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. They both start pouting. It's not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. Uh, that doesn't mean... Let's, uh, are you going to make me work with her now? Look. Get over and put hands on Yuri. Yuri! You really are the most talented one here, and and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but if you're going to make the atmosphere special, that'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performance. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri is the only one surprised. M and I are also taken aback with M's words. And of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. It was trying to sound like S. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something S would say at a time like this. Because S always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And for all of us, I'm going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more to do for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today. Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Can I go home? Follow him and out that door and they can chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Uh, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Ah, uh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped in my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. Uh, I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Gives her a number. Okay. I'm coming over Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah? How do you think I feel? 
I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. Uh, we have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you w when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. You better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never get to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. So, for over... Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you Sunday. Ah. Never mind. Alright, I'm going home. Is S anywhere near? Can't believe this is going to be coming to my house Sunday. Even though I thought I'd prefer to do this with S, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous about S finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like M said, this is all about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Alright. We've still not went. It's Sunday. Alright. Well, with that, I'm going to save. And we're going to call that a game. <laughs> not fully, but, you know, a stopping point at least. Well, if you liked the game, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment, do it. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're your own person. You can do whatever you want. I'm not going to force you to do anything. But if you do, thank you for doing it. And um, see you on the next video.